So it can be hard to differentiate shoulder pain from rotator cuff problems or long head of the bicep problems. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to figure this out. There are a couple of key tests that we're gonna do. With that information, we can help you figure out if your shoulder pain is coming from your rotator cuff or your biceps tendon. If this was rotator cuff, I'd be listening for clues like there was a fall or a trauma or a sudden incident or a lot of overuse, arm overhead motions, sweeping motions, think cleaning off a car, painting a wall. For long head of the biceps tendon injuries without other injuries is this is repetition and it's in front of the body. So let's take a real quick anatomical look at where that tendon sits. And when we do that, it's gonna make a little bit more sense these tests that we're gonna do. So this is called the bicipital groove and it's a groove right here in the bone of the humerus. And this biceps tendon, the long head of it, lays right in this groove and attaches on the upper part of this glenoid here, this little cup right there. The biceps muscle starts in the upper arm and it attaches just below the elbow and it's responsible for flexing the elbow as well as supinating or turning the hand palm up. So our first test is called the uppercut test and in this test we're basically resisting a force with the palm up that is crossing the body like you were boxing and you were delivering an uppercut. Pretty straightforward where it got its name, right? So if we look anatomically at what's happening here, here's our biceps tendon sitting in the groove and we're gonna deliver resistance to a movement in this direction. And if you were going to test this yourself, you would make a loose fist Turn your palm up or towards your face, bring it up around shoulder height, and then resist that pretty powerfully. And you can also start low and resist as you go up. And this is going to be a pretty sensitive test for that. And the second key test that we're gonna do is tenderness to palpation right where that groove is. In the normal anatomic position, that groove is actually inward facing. The easiest way to find it is start on the outside, slide your fingers around until you hit a very clear bony groove. And once you feel you've found it, rotate your arm a little bit and that groove should move under your finger and that just confirms that you're in the right spot. So how is this different than rotator cuff problems? Well the key difference is the rotator cuff encircles the humeral head here for tendons and there are specific muscle tests that we can do to see if those are involved. So here they are external rotation starting with your arm against your side use your hand against your wrist and powerfully push out as if you were going to swing your arm open like a gate. You can also do this up here so lift your your elbow high, bring your hand to your wrist, start to pull that wrist as if you were bringing your arm down like this. Okay, so that's going to get two of the muscles on the back side of the shoulder blade right here, infraspinatus and teres minor. Supraspinatus, this one right on the top, we're gonna to hold the arm out in front of our body and out a little bit, and we're going to deliver a force straight down, and we're looking for pain and or weakness with that. And then the last one, subscapularis, which lives on the front of the shoulder blade and attaches here on the humerus. This is called a belly press test. If you put your hand, Right on or above your belly button and you press firmly into your body, does that elicit pain? Another one is a lift-off test where you rest your hand right over your sacrum, the knuckles over your sacrum, palm facing backwards, and you resist lifting your hand off of your body as if you were moving it behind you. So if all of those tests are pain-free and you have tenderness to palpate right here in the bicipital groove and your uppercut test is positive, then you, my friend, have bicipital problems, whether it's tendonitis or a tear or a rupture of the little ligament that stabilizes that tendon. That's what's going on and we need to fix it. So bonus, here are a few key tips to fixing long head of the biceps problems. Number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat this like any tendon injury. We're gonna give it a combination of time, heat, cold combination, sometimes anti-inflammatories, and then a heck of a lot of good shoulder stability work. To find out my favorite shoulder stability exercises, check the link in the description below. And as always, I will see you next time.